Hey there, travel enthusiasts. Ready for an adventure? We're diving deep into a country that's so much more than just Amsterdam. Don't get me wrong, Amsterdam is amazing. But the Netherlands? It's a whole vibe. Think charming canals, colorful fields, and cities bursting with history. We're talking about those picture-perfect windmills you've seen on postcards. Those vibrant tulip fields that look like they're straight out of a dream. And those quaint towns where you can practically feel the history beneath your feet. So, buckle up. We're about to uncover the hidden gems of the Netherlands, one incredible destination at a time. From windmills to canals, a sneak peek into Dutch delights. First up, Kinderdijk, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 19 majestic windmills, their sails turning lazily. A testament to Dutch engineering and their battle with the sea. Next, Githorn, the Venice of the North. Gliding through peaceful canals, past charming houses. Get ready for Kuchenhof Gardens, the Garden of Europe. Millions of tulips creating a breathtaking spectacle. Exploring historic Delft and Harlem. Hit subscribe and let's get this adventure started. Welcome to Kinderdijk where windmills reign supreme. Get ready to be blown away, not by the wind, but by the sheer awesomeness of Kinderdijk. This place is like stepping into a postcard, with its iconic windmills dominating the landscape. You see these beauties in photos all the time when you think of the Netherlands, and let me tell you, they're even more impressive in person. Located just a short hop from Rotterdam, Kinderdijk is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's easy to see why. 19 majestic windmills, dating back to the 18th century, stand proudly along the canals, a testament to Dutch ingenuity and their never-ending battle against the water. We're talking about a time when wind power was king, and these windmills were the heavy lifters, keeping the low-lying Dutch land dry and habitable. Today, they're a powerful reminder of the past and a symbol of the Netherlands' innovative spirit. A glimpse into the past, the story of Kinderdijk's windmills. Okay, history buffs, gather round because Kinderdijk has a story to tell. Imagine a time when this whole area was prone to flooding. The Dutch, being the resourceful folks they are, said, not on our watch. And that's where these mighty windmills come in. They built these ingenious structures to pump water out of the low-lying polders, or reclaimed land, and into the rivers, preventing the whole place from turning into a giant swimming pool. Talk about an epic battle against nature. The windmills you see today were built around 1740, replacing even older mills, and they're still in tip-top shape, thanks to careful preservation efforts. You can even step inside some of them to see the inner workings and imagine what life was like for the millers who lived and worked here. Now, while the windmills are the stars of the show here, there's more to Kinderdijk than meets the eye. You can easily spend a half day or even a full day here, soaking up the atmosphere and exploring every nook and cranny. Take a leisurely stroll or rent a bike and meander along the scenic paths that wind their way through the windmill network. Hop on a boat tour and experience Kinderdijk from a whole new perspective, gliding along the tranquil canals as the windmills loom large overhead. And don't forget to capture those Instagram-worthy shots Trust me, you'll be snapping photos left and right. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or just looking for a unique and unforgettable experience, Kinderdijk will leave you breathless. Ready to plan your Kinderdijk adventure? Here are a few insider tips to help you make the most of your visit. Spring and early summer are magical times to visit when the weather is pleasant and the surrounding fields are bursting with colorful flowers. Kinderdijk is best explored on foot or by bike to fully appreciate its beauty. For those picture-perfect shots, aim to visit during the golden hours, shortly after sunrise or before sunset, when the light is simply magical. There are charming cafes and restaurants in the area where you can grab a bite to eat and savor the flavors of the Netherlands. Decide which windmills you want to see up close and how you want to explore the area. Maps and information are available at the visitor center. So there you have it, your guide to experiencing the wonders of Kinderdijk, where history, nature, and Dutch ingenuity collide. 
get ready to be amazed. Next stop on our Netherlands adventure, the enchanting village of Geithorn, the Venice of the North. Get ready to be enchanted because we're whisking you away to Geithorn, a village so charming, it feels like it's straight out of a storybook. Imagine a place where cars are a distant memory, and the only way to get around is by boat or by foot along its picturesque canals. Yep, you heard that right, no cars. Geithorn is often called the Venice of the North or the Dutch Venice, and for good reason. It's a labyrinth of canals, quaint bridges, and adorable thatched roof houses all surrounded by lush greenery. As you glide along the waterways, time seems to slow down, and you're instantly transported to a world of peace and tranquility. This hidden gem in the Dutch province of Overijssel was founded way back in the 13th century, and it has managed to retain its old world charm over the centuries. It's a place where you can escape the hustle and bustle of modern life and reconnect with nature and a simpler way of living. Section 2. Exploring the Waterways. The Heart of Geithorn. The best way to experience the magic of Geithorn is undoubtedly by boat. Hop aboard a whisper boat, an electric boat that allows you to navigate the narrow canals silently without disturbing the peaceful atmosphere. You can rent one yourself and be your own captain or join a guided tour to learn about the village's history and secrets. As you gently cruise along the waterways, you'll be treated to a visual feast of charming bridges, some so low you'll need to duck your head, flower-filled gardens, and those iconic thatched roof farmhouses, each more picture-perfect than the last. Keep an eye out for the punters, locals who skillfully maneuver their traditional flat-bottomed boats using a long pole. You can easily spend hours getting lost in the beauty of Geithorn's canals, stopping off at waterside cafes for a coffee break or a leisurely lunch, or simply soaking up the serenity of it all. It's the kind of place where you can truly relax, unwind, and forget about your worries. Section 3. Beyond the Canals, Hidden Gems and Local Delights While the canals are the main attraction in Githorn, don't miss the opportunity to explore beyond the waterways. Stretch your legs with a leisurely walk or bike ride along the many paths that crisscross the village and its surroundings. You'll discover hidden lanes, charming gardens, and breathtaking views of the countryside. Pop into one of the local museums to delve deeper into the region's history and culture. The Teol de Mat Us Museum, housed in a historic farmhouse, offers a fascinating glimpse into 19th century life in Giethorn. And for those looking for a unique souvenir, check out the local craft shops and boutiques showcasing the work of talented artisans. And of course, no visit to Gitorn would be complete without indulging in some local delicacies. Treat yourself to a slice of traditional Dutch apple pie, or savor a hearty meal at one of the village's cozy restaurants. Practical Tips Navigating the Venice of the North Ready to plan your Geithorn adventure? Timing is key. Geithorn can get crowded, especially during peak season, April to September. For a tranquil experience, visit during spring or fall or on weekdays. Book your boat in advance to avoid disappointment. Respect the peace and be mindful of noise levels. Pack for all weather. Dutch weather can be unpredictable. Cash is king. Have some on hand for smaller shops and cafes. Get ready to be captivated by Geithorn's timeless beauty and charm. Get ready to have your senses dazzled because we're about to step into a world of color and fragrance at Keukenhof Gardens, also known as the Garden of Europe. Imagine this, over seven million tulips, daffodils, and hyacinths bursting into bloom, creating a breathtaking spectacle that will leave you speechless. Located just a short drive from Amsterdam, Keukenhof is like stepping into a real-life fairy tale. It's a vast park, spanning over 79 acres, and every inch is a feast for the eyes. Imagine strolling through meticulously designed gardens, each with its own unique theme and color palette, surrounded by the sweet scent of millions of flowers. But here's the catch. 
Kokenhof is only open for a limited time each year, typically from late March to mid-May, during the peak blooming season. Okay, let's talk tulips. Kuchenhof is home to a mind-boggling variety of tulips, from classic single blooms to flamboyant parrot tulips with fringed petals. You'll find them in every color imaginable, from vibrant reds and yellows to delicate pinks and purples, and even some with stripes and patterns that will blow your mind. But Kuchenhof is more than just tulips. As you explore the gardens, be sure to check out the Willem Alexander Pavilion. This massive greenhouse is a sight to behold showcasing a dazzling array of orchids, lilies, and other exotic flowers. Then, get inspired by the inspirational gardens, each designed to showcase the latest trends in garden design and flower arrangements. And don't miss the historical garden, where you can step back in time and discover the history of the tulip and its significance in Dutch culture. While the flowers are the main attraction at Kuchenhof, there's plenty more to see and do. Hop on a boat tour for a unique perspective of the gardens from the water, or rent a bike and explore the surrounding flower fields, where you can see even more tulips stretching as far as the eye can see. Kuchenhof also hosts a variety of events throughout the season, from flower parades and exhibitions to live music and entertainment. Check the official website for the latest event schedule. And for those traveling with little ones, Kuchenhof has something for everyone. Kids will love the petting zoo, the playground, and the treasure hunt through the gardens. Tips for your Kuchenhof adventure. Making the most of your visit. Ready to plan your Kuchenhof adventure? Here are a few insider tips to help you make the most of your visit. Book your tickets online in advance to save time and money. Arrive early or late to avoid crowds. Wear comfortable shoes for lots of walking. Pack a picnic to save on food costs. Capture the memories with your camera. Experience the magic of Kuchenhof Gardens. Next, we explore the charming cities of Delft and Harlem. Get ready to be charmed because we're stepping into Delft, a city that's like a living museum. Imagine strolling along cobblestone streets lined with canals, cute bridges, and those classic Dutch houses with their gabled roofs. It's like stepping back in time, but with a modern twist. Delft is famous for its connection to one of the world's most renowned painters, Johannes Vermeer, the master of light and shadow. You've probably seen his iconic painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring, right? Well, Delft is where he lived and worked, and you can practically feel his presence in the air. But Delft is much more than just Vermeer. This city has a rich history, dating back to the 13th century, and it's played a significant role in Dutch politics, trade, and of course, art. It's also the birthplace of those iconic blue and white Delftware ceramics, which are like the ultimate Dutch souvenir. One of the best ways to experience Delft is by simply getting lost in its charming streets and canals. Take a leisurely stroll along the Oude Delft, one of the city's oldest and most picturesque canals, and soak up the atmosphere. You'll pass by historic buildings, quaint cafes, and charming shops selling everything from cheese to Delftware. Be sure to venture beyond the main streets and discover Delft's hidden courtyards, known as Hofjes. These peaceful oases were once home to charitable institutions that provided housing for the elderly or less fortunate. Today, they offer a glimpse into Delft's past and a moment of tranquility amidst the bustling city. And if you're feeling adventurous, hop on a canal boat tour and see Delft from a whole new perspective. You'll glide along the waterways, passing under bridges and getting a unique view of the city's architecture and hidden gems. Hold on to your hats, history buffs, because we're about to step into Harlem, a city that's like a medieval masterpiece come to life. Imagine cobblestone streets, grand churches, hidden courtyards, and a vibrant market square that's been buzzing with activity for centuries. Located just a stone's throw from Amsterdam, Harlem often gets overlooked by its more famous neighbor. But trust me, this city is a hidden gem you don't want to miss. 
It's got all the charm and history of Amsterdam, but without the crowds, making it the perfect destination for a day trip or a weekend getaway. As you wander through Harlem's historic center, you'll feel like you've stepped back in time. The city's rich history dates back to the 12th century, and it was once one of the most important cities in Holland. Today, it's a vibrant cultural hub with a laid-back vibe, a thriving art scene, and a foodie scene that will tantalize your taste buds. All right, let's talk highlights. No trip to Harlem is complete without a visit to the Grota Markt, the city's bustling central square. This is where you'll find the iconic St. Bavo Church, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture that dominates the skyline. Step inside to marvel at its soaring ceilings, intricate stained glass windows, and the famous Mueller organ, which Mozart himself once played. Just a stone's throw from the Grote Markt, you'll find the Taylor's Museum, one of the oldest museums in the Netherlands. This treasure trove of art, science, and natural history is like stepping into a cabinet of curiosities. You'll find everything from fossils and minerals to paintings by Dutch masters and scientific instruments that look like they belong in a Harry Potter film. And for those who appreciate a good brew, a visit to the Jopenkirk is a must. This former church has been transformed into a modern brewery where you can sample locally crafted beers in a truly unique setting. Cheers to that. Hold on to your hats, night owls, and party people, because we're heading north to Groningen, a city that knows how to have a good time. Imagine a place where historic charm collides with youthful energy, where canals reflect the glow of trendy bars. Groningen is often called the student capital of the Netherlands, and for good reason. With over 60,000 students, it's a city that pulsates with youthful energy. So, what makes Groningen's nightlife so special? It's incredibly diverse. Whether you're into live music, DJs, cozy pubs, or trendy cocktail bars, Groningen has it all. Exploring Groningen. Historic charm meets modern vibes. Now, while Groningen's nightlife might be what draws many visitors, don't underestimate the city's daytime charms. This historic city boasts a rich history dating back to the 11th century and has a beautifully preserved medieval center that's a joy to explore. Start your exploration at the Grote Markt, the city's vibrant central square, where you'll find the iconic Martini Tower, Groningen's answer to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, though thankfully, this one is perfectly upright. Climb the tower for breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the surrounding countryside. From the Grote Markt, wander through Groningen's charming streets lined with boutiques, cozy cafes, and historic buildings. Be sure to check out the Groninger Museum, a striking postmodern building that houses an eclectic collection of art, archaeology, and design. Rotterdam, rising from the ashes, embracing the future. Get ready to have your perceptions of the Netherlands challenged because we're about to enter a world of architectural innovation and urban cool in Rotterdam. This city is unlike any other in the Netherlands, a testament to resilience, creativity, and a forward-looking spirit. You see, Rotterdam has a unique history. Unlike other Dutch cities that escaped relatively unscathed during World War II, Rotterdam was heavily bombed, leaving much of its historic center in ruins. But instead of mourning the past, Rotterdam embraced the opportunity to rebuild, to create a city of the future, a showcase of modern architecture and urban design. And boy, did they succeed. Today, Rotterdam is a vibrant metropolis with a skyline punctuated by daring skyscrapers, innovative buildings that push the boundaries of design, and a palpable energy that's both exciting and inspiring. Rotterdam's Architectural Wonders, a feast for the eyes. Okay, architecture enthusiasts, get your cameras ready, because Rotterdam is a feast for the eyes. From iconic landmarks to hidden gems, this city is a playground for those who appreciate cutting-edge design and urban innovation. Let's start with the showstoppers. No trip to Rotterdam is complete without a visit to the Cube Houses a whimsical collection of tilted cube-shaped houses designed by architect Piet Blom. 
These gravity-defying homes are a testament to Rotterdam's playful side and a must-see for any architecture buff. Next up, head to the Erasmus Bridge, affectionately known as the Swan, a cable-stayed bridge that spans the River Moss and has become a symbol of modern Rotterdam. For panoramic views of the city, take the elevator to the top of the Euromast, a 185-meter tall observation tower that's hard to miss. Hold on to your handlebars because we're rolling into Utrecht, a city that's like Amsterdam's cooler, more laid-back cousin. Imagine charming canals, historic architecture, and a vibrant atmosphere, all experienced at the leisurely pace of a bicycle. That's Utrecht in a nutshell. Utrecht is one of the Netherlands' oldest cities, dating back to Roman times, and its historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But don't let the ancient history fool you. Utrecht is also a modern, bustling city with a youthful energy, thanks in part to its large student population. And speaking of students, Utrecht is known as one of the most bike-friendly cities in the world, with more bikes than people. So, what better way to experience Utrecht than by hopping on two wheels and exploring its charms at your own pace? Okay, let's talk highlights. No trip to Utrecht is complete without a visit to the Dom Tower, the city's iconic landmark and the tallest church tower in the Netherlands. This towering Gothic masterpiece dominates the skyline and offers breathtaking panoramic views from its top. But be warned, the climb to the top is not for the faint of heart. Once you've caught your breath after climbing the Dom Tower, head down to the Oudegracht, Utrecht's picturesque canal that winds its way through the heart of the city. Unlike other Dutch canals, the Oudegracht has unique wharf cellars and terraces built at water level, creating a charming and distinctive atmosphere. Take a leisurely stroll or bike ride along the canal, stopping to admire the historic canal houses, browse the boutiques and art galleries, or enjoy a drink or a bite to eat at one of the many waterside cafes and restaurants. Get ready to experience a different side of the Netherlands as we enter The Hague, a city that seamlessly blends international diplomacy with Dutch charm. Imagine grand palaces, world-class museums, and a cosmopolitan atmosphere, all set against a backdrop of picturesque canals and leafy parks. The Hague is often called the International City of Peace and Justice because it's home to the International Court of Justice, the International Criminal Court, and numerous other international organizations. But don't let the serious side fool you. The Hague is also a vibrant city with a rich history, a thriving art scene, and a surprisingly laid-back vibe. One of the best things about The Hague is its walkability. You can easily spend a day or two exploring its historic center on foot, discovering hidden courtyards, admiring grand mansions, and soaking up the city's unique atmosphere. Section 4. Exploring the Hague's treasures, from art to justice. All right, let's talk highlights. No trip to The Hague is complete without a visit to the Binnenhof, the historic heart of the city and the seat of the Dutch Parliament. This complex of buildings dating back to the 13th century is a fascinating blend of architectural styles and a testament to Dutch history and democracy. Take a guided tour to learn about the Dutch political system or simply wander through the courtyards and admire the buildings from the outside. Be sure to check out the Ridderzaal, or Knights Hall, a grand medieval hall that's used for special occasions, such as the annual Pringestag, or Prince's Day, when the king delivers the speech from the throne. For art lovers, a visit to the Marit Shui is a must. This world-renowned museum houses an impressive collection of Dutch Golden Age paintings, including masterpieces by Vermeer, Rembrandt, and Franz Hals. Don't miss Vermeer's iconic girl with a pearl earring, which is on permanent display here. Section 1. A Tapestry of Dutch Delights Reflecting on our journey. Wow, what a whirlwind adventure through the Netherlands. We've covered some serious ground, from the iconic windmills of Kinderdijk to the serene canals of Giethoorn, from the vibrant tulip fields of Kokenhof to the historic streets of Delft and Haarlem. And let's not forget the dynamic energy of Groningen and Rotterdam, 
each with their own unique vibe. We've seen how the Dutch have battled the sea for centuries, using their ingenuity to create a country that's both beautiful and functional. We've witnessed the explosion of color and fragrance at Keukenhof, a testament to the Dutch passion for flowers. And we've delved into the rich history and culture of cities like Delft and Harlem, where cobblestone streets echo with stories of the past. But beyond the iconic landmarks and must-see attractions, we've also discovered the heart and soul of the Netherlands, the warmth of its people, their love for cycling, and their passion for good food, good beer, and good times. Section 2. Which Dutch gem will steal your heart? Planning your adventure. So, are you ready to experience the magic of the Netherlands for yourself? I know, I know, it's tough to choose where to go first. If you're looking for a taste of classic Dutch scenery, Kinderdijk's windmills and Geethorn's canals are a must. For a burst of color and fragrance, Kokenhof Gardens will take your breath away. History buffs will fall head over heels for Delft and Harlem, while art and architecture enthusiasts will find endless inspiration in Rotterdam. And if you're looking for a city with a youthful vibe and a buzzing nightlife, Groningen won't disappoint. The best part is, the Netherlands is a relatively small country, making it easy to explore multiple destinations in one trip. You can rent a car and hit the open road, or take advantage of the Netherlands' fantastic public transportation system, which includes trains, buses, and even ferries. Section 3. Until next time. Sharing the love for the Netherlands. Well, that's a wrap on our Netherlands adventure. I hope this video has inspired you to add this incredible country to your travel bucket list. And if you've already been lucky enough to experience the Netherlands, I'd love to hear about your favorite places and experiences in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Share this video with your travel buddies. Tag me in your Netherlands photos on Instagram. And let's spread the love for this amazing country, taught zines, and happy travels.